Yeah. 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 Yeah
The Six of Cups, Knight of Discs, Four of Wands, Chariot, Ten of Swords, the Star card, and the Ace of Swords. Okay. Capricorn, as I said, happy solar return to you guys, Capricorn. Tis the season for you. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy your season. Hope you guys enjoy your birth season. All right, let's see. Got the magician card. I just split the deck here. I'm gonna pick your mystery card here. Capricorn is gonna give us a confirmation we need at the end of the reading. So make sure you stay tuned till the end of the reading. Uh, let's play a little game on intuition and comment down below what you think the mystery card is, um, the confirmation card is for you at the end, Capricorn. So you can comment that down below. Let me know what you think. This mystery card will be. This is from the Rider White Tarot. That's the confirmation we need. Show me Capricorn. Some of you guys may be dealing with a uh, heartbreak or, or a little bit of difficulty with communicating how you feel about the current situation. Some of you guys either separate from a situation that may uh, influence how you feel currently. Some of you guys may be looking into your finances uh, and the paths that you can go down, you know, which job is the right job for you, etc. Right now, kind of seeing which path is the best for you to cure your stability or um, status here. Some of you guys are seeing things from a new perspective or some of you guys need a perspective shift here towards uh, maybe your finances here or relationship but it is time for a perspective shift for some of you Capricorn show me Capricorn mystery card right off top don't put right to the side Bottom of the deck, we do have the star. This is our confirmation. This is the path, best path for you to walk down. Capricorn is a star. And before we get into that, we're going to get into the spread. Um, this is the underlining story here. And we do have the best path for you to walk down here as confirmation here as well. Sipping the handy dandy lemon tea right now. Lemon ginger. Stay healthy during these winter months on the north side. All right. Thank you, Kiki, for holding down the mystery card. Let's see. Capricorn, we're going to get right into it here. First position one, we have Pleasure, Six of Cups. I think you, this Capricorn right now, is showing me you're paying attention to the opportunities that you receive. Um, you could have let go of a certain opportunity that was pleasurable for you, in a sense, but not, um, not fulfilling. You know, there may have been pleasure, but there may not have been emotional fulfillment here. So I'm saying this is now in the past. Or for some of you guys, Capricorn, you could have done something with, let's say, for example, a circumstance with your business and career. You could have done, you could have been involved with some sort of status or business and career that brought you a lot of pleasure, but no longer bringing you the pleasure. So you had to leave this in the past. Right. It's like you're moving on from certain pleasures that no longer are serving you here. Capricorn. It's the Six of Cups. Right, this is usually a um, um, very harmonious card, and I think it was at one point for you. I think you had, were involved with something that bring you a lot of pleasure. Maybe did bring you a lot of fulfillment. Was maybe very harmonious for you with whatever circumstance and situation this is in. Whether it's a relationship or an opportunity that allow you to secure your status or foundation or career that you like to do, for example. But this is in the past position here, so I think you've let go of this, or maybe want to. And if you haven't yet, this is a con your confirmation that you may need to move on from a certain opportunity that's no longer an opportunity anymore. I do see the Knight of Discs, aka the King of Pentacles here. So I do see you taking action towards your foundation status career um, or relationship in a practical way, right? Um, Earth does deal with four, does deal with thinking, does deal with analyzation, does deal with practicality, right? What makes sense? 
So you're, you're moving towards what makes sense right now. You're taking action on what makes sense for you, Capricorn, for your situation, for your stability, for your status, for your career, for your money, right? Um, for some of you guys, this is moving forward with a mental form, with a, a, a way of thinking, right? To maybe towards a situation or a relationship, even towards your career. That's what you're doing. That's, and that's your current energy now, Capricorn. That's your present energy. The hidden influence is the four of wands, Aries energy. You could have uh, prominent Aries in your chart. You could have um, Virgo prominent in your chart as well. For some of you guys. Um, January 4th could be significant. January 7th, December 27th, December, uh, January 17th, January 10th, right? Those are all significant for you guys, Capricorn, if you were born on those days. Um, it's another confirmation that this message is maybe for you. So we do have the Four of Wands here. Aries energy, Venus energy as well. It's, uh, it's like re really relating to how you take, really relating to your motivations, like really finding uh, the connections to what motivates you, right? Putting the pieces together to kind of... What you what it's like relating right what what how you relate to your passions your motivations your desires right what are the what are the things that you take action on that you, that motivates you that you love to do right what do you love to do that motivates you this is in position three so I feel like this thing that you love to do that motivates you is in with the uh, is within your environment this is Aries energy this can have something to do with um they said passion, motivation, and desires, giving birth to something new here. Maybe you gave birth to something new within your environment, maybe some creative thing, maybe some new way of taking action that you uh, that you connect to, that you relate to, you know. Um, maybe this is why you're going, you're moving forward towards a new sense of status here or towards your finances. It could be based upon this thing that you're, you know, relatively connecting to, that you're relating to, that motivates you to do so, right? Because that's the hidden influence here. For some of you guys, this is communication within your environment. This communication within your environment could be a little aggressive. That Aries energy. How you communicate within your environment could seem a little hostile right now. Um, your environment can even be a little frustrating for some of you guys, Capricorn. You may want to shift your environment in some way, shape, or form. And it's telling me that you have to be the one to initiate this shift. Um, and I think you may have, you know, you may be wanting to initiate this shift. This shift could be initiated um, within your environment based upon a relationship as well. It could be a business partnership or a love and, uh, you know, you know, your companion or a partner, whatever the case may be. Um, spouse, right? And because of this love connection for some of you guys, it's, uh, it's really motivating you to change your environment or change how you communicate in some way, shape or form, Capricorn. Um... It's motivating you to create a sense of stability around this relationship, partnership, um, or the way you just relate to yourself in the world, right? That's why you're kind of looking to shape your status here with this earth energy and the Knight of Discs. All right, I see you're, you're very action-oriented right now. Um, could be very passionate. Could be a little heated as well with that Martian energy. We do have the king, uh, we do have the knight slash the king and the four of wands, which is, you know, both significant fire energy. Um, so there could be some Martian energy there where at least the frustration, hatred, anger um, for some of you guys. Um, for some of you guys, there could be some frustration or anger within a relationship here. That you need to... It needs to underline influence here. And um, if this relationship is frustrating you here and it's forcing you or pushing you or motivating you, or, you know, it could not be motivating you, but it could be why you feel motivated to do something like what your true motive is here. And the motive to what you to why you're doing something Capricorn could be because of a relationship. It's important to trust and understand that if you're moving forward or being motive uh, or, you know, the underlying motive to do something is because of a relationship. Make sure you're doing it for yourself and make sure it's something that you love to do here. That's 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 my personal message. Um for you guys Capricorn, make sure it's not draining you uh, and make sure it's something that is in alignment to what you want to do and the status that you want to curate for yourself. Very important. 
We have the chariot in position four. There could be something blocking you that's stopping you from moving forward or moving forward towards an ex uh, your success or shaping the status here. You could want to take action in some way, shape, or form on your career or status right now, but something's stopping you, and this could be a vehicle. This could be a way of transportation. This could be not having uh, enough money to transport uh, tra transport in somewhere. Um, or this could be uh, not having a vehicle that's possibly that you can move forward with here. And that is the obstacle that you're going to need to overcome. So whatever situation that you're in right now, Capricorn, where it's a vehicle, you know, you can't get anywhere. You can't get somewhere because a vehicle is stopping you from receiving certain opportunities here, which is why the six may be in the past. Maybe you don't have this harmony anymore um, because of this blockage, right? Maybe this opportunity was missed because of this vehicle blockage. For some of you guys are being able to get to the opportunity or, or go to the appointment or the interview or whatever, right? So this could be a sticky situation right here because success is here, but something's blocking you from moving forward towards your success. Um, and this could very much have something to do, you know, Capricorn's earth sign, <clears throat> material within the physical world. This could have something to do very much so within a vehicle, uh, for, uh, regarding a vehicle here. So whatever it is, if it's a vehicle, look to get that vehicle fixed. Um, you know that way you don't you don't miss opportunities here. You can you can um, do what you got to do. Maybe that's why you're moving forward with your finances or career because you're looking to fix this vehicle or allow yourself enough um, period enough status right quote unquote unquote status or money or finances to move forward so you can get towards this opportunity or see more opportunities within yourself, be more sophisticated or more st uh, stabilized within your foundation and career here, Capricorn. Position four. Position five, we do have others influ uh, other people's perspectives or outside perspectives, right? And we have the Ten of Swords, Ruin. Um, I think there is some argument and argumental energies here going on with the underlying story of the Four of Wands. It's a lot of fire, it's a lot of frustration, it's a lot of passion, maybe a lot of anger. And there's a lot of words maybe being thrown around to you, Capricorn. Maybe a lot of outside opinions. Um, you know, a lot of... Uh, ways of communication that just feels like stabbing you or just stabbing you in the back here in some way shape or form and this is coming from your external reality um this is coming from external people places and things i'm really getting um for example <clears throat> people could be really trying you know really knocking you for some way shape or form maybe because you are blocked in this way you could be feeling like you're getting um uh, psychically attacked like you know mentally mentally attacked you know what i'm saying um could be feeling like people are stabbing you in the back like you can't trust anyone right now in some way, shape, or form, um, you may know and be aware that people are talking about you. If not, this is your confirmation that people are talking about you, uh, Capricorn. This could be why you feel a little restless, a little uh, anxiety, a little anxious, maybe overthinking certain things. People are talking about you, and it may not be in the best way, shape, or form with this Ruin card here. Um... This could also be why you're a little frustrated, why you're really trying to move forward towards your career, status, stability, money, security. But I do feel like um, there may be a lot of argumental energy, a lot of words thrown back and forth, and you don't really like that. So you're really trying to secure yourself here. That way, it's like you 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 shut you shut up the external energy. You know, it's like it's like shut up. I'm gonna secure my finances, do my thing, and not worry about these people or show them up. You know, what I'm saying it's like, uh, well, you're gonna talk about me, you can talk about me, but I'm still gonna get to what I'm gonna get to. I'm gonna make sure I get to what I get to here, right? I'm sure I'm gonna do what I need to do here. And uh, I'm hearing don't listen to the don't listen to the external thought. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't allow people to downplay who you are based upon, yeah, there may have been pleasure and harmony before and opportunity before. And if there's not harmony and opportunity now, don't let anyone downplay you for that. Uh, real friends are gonna be by your side, or real supporters are gonna be there for you to help you get out of that situation. Um, if you need the help, ask for help. Uh, if you need the advice, ask for the advice. Right? Um, don't feel ashamed to not be in the position that you want to be in currently. Right? We all, there's all levels to this stuff. And where you are is going to be different than other than, than other people. And where other people are going to be different than where you're at. Right? Um, we go through certain things at certain times. And that's the most important thing you have to realize. Like... Sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days. And make sure you're really processing the opportunities you're going towards or what you're moving towards in order to make money. Um, 
and it's really something that you love to do don't allow this headache and overthinking and these words and, and people communicating negative or bad energy to you right ruin what you want to do for yourself and your own life right don't live up to any other external expectations one of the expectations you should be living up to is your own capricorn that's the one thing i gotta say about that card you could be really emotional distraught you don't know how to understand understand right now or communicate your emotions for some of you guys as well capricorn you may need to do like um, you may need to practice some more emotional like intelligence emotional analyzation how to communicate your emotions a little bit more and be a little bit less practical here All right it's important to feel about certain situations it's important to act, and it's also important to act regardless of how you feel um, so don't let how you feel hold you back from taking the right actions that you know are good for you All right if you're in a situation that's negative it's important to understand You don't need to be in a situation that's negative that's going to hold you down and hold you back because that alone is going to stop you. Negative energy loves negative company. So if you're going to be around it, don't expect too much to get better. Like you got to be willing to separate here is what I'm feeling. You got to separate from this ruin, from this way of communicating, from this way of thinking, from these uh, external maybe people and, and external thoughts, perspectives and mindsets shift what you got going on for yourself. Because the path for you to walk down here is the star, it's Aquarius energy. Um, if there's an Aquarius in your life, that's significant. Uh, maybe look toward Aquarius, rising sun, ascendant, whatever. Look the moon, right? look towards them. Right? Maybe you communicate something towards them. This, this, If there's an Aquarius in your life, they can probably help you. That's for some of you guys. Um, you may have Aquarius prominent in your chart. It's time to start tap tapping into that energy. Um, but this is the best path for you to walk down Capricorn and it is the Aquarius, the star card here. And it's just reminding you that the path for you to walk down is for you to look within. It is for you to be unique um, and it is for you to come to a level of understanding and knowing thyself, knowing your own natures, knowing your aggressions, knowing your triggers, knowing your pleasures, knowing your indulgences, knowing your weaknesses, knowing the things you hate, knowing the things you love. You got to get an understanding on these things here. I may sound like a lot, but it's an important path for you, Aquarius. Oh, Capricorn. It's the Aquarius energy, you know. Um, you guys are both ruled by Saturn, of course. And instead of just, um, I feel, chasing practicality or chasing money, chasing status, is this status being unique to you? Are you being authentic here? Like, authenticity is a big thing here. If you're not being authentic, I don't feel like you will find this opportunity. Like, you can't keep chasing and following what other people D does or do and listen to other people's expectations based upon where you're from or uh what they do or what you know the the regular collective does right there may be something that is extremely unique to you here um that you love to do that you're connected to but you don't do it as a job or career status you got to have faith to do that thing right because that's what you love to do and that's what this is telling you do what's something that's unique to you that that reminds you of your authenticity here because in order to move forward, you gotta shine like the star. You can't be like everyone else here. I'm, I'm here in Capricorn. There's something different now that's changed. The outcome card is the Ace of Swords. This is gonna bring you clarity because what you do, making sure that it's unique to you and you're authentic, that's gonna bring you the clarity you need to understand how to communicate yourself, your emotions and your thoughts and know what job and idea to go and move forward with because you understand that this is you're in a unique situation and you are a unique individual that likes to be secure and stabilized in a unique way so whatever that unique way is that's the path you got to go down and that's going to bring you the sword and the ultimate idea to either curate a new this new sense of status here for yourself um bring you the stability this idea is going to bring you a, a new job a stability um way of you know moving forward here um, this could be really showing you what you need to separate from, what you need to let go. The sword will be in your hand. So separation will be a big thing. I think this is elevation in the uh, realm of the mind as well. Your mindset uh, sh is shifting here. Your perspectives are expanding. Your perspectives is expanding, right? And this is a big thing for you, Capricorn, because what you what you, what you need to understand what you need to separate from, you got to know what, why why you're separating. So. You have to know what makes you unique and what makes you authentic. 
in order to know what you need to separate from in your life. If you don't know and have any sense of authenticity, you're just gonna wanna be a part of everything else that everyone else is a part of. You're gonna get influenced by everyone else's moves and everyone else's thoughts and everyone else's actions and everyone else's status and career. But that's not what it's about here at Capricorn. It's not about that. It's about curating your own sense of status and being authentic. And having the strength to move forward with that idea or that way of thinking and that way of communicating right the star is the star is intuition as well the star is emotional intellect understanding and overcoming your emotions right knowing how to read your emotions and understand how you feel about certain things in order for you to move forward because that's the path you got to walk here capricorn I'm going to pull out the mystery confirmation card, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you think this mystery confirmation card is. Thank you, Kiki, for holding it down. Appreciate you. What I think it is here, we do see some water. We do see some fire. We see some swords. We see some earth. I'm telling you, a whole lot of balancing energies, guys, within these readings lately. Um, a lot of you guys are balancing things or looking to balance things and position things within the right areas of your life. That way you can move forward into 2024. Um, through this solstice portal, you know, a little bit more harmonious, which is very nice for you. It's very nice for you. Let's see. The lovers. The lovers card. So this could very much have something to do with a relationship here, Capricorn. There could have been, okay, for some of you guys, if this is a relationship, uh, there could have been a past relationship that was pleasurable for you. That was, was, that was harmonious, but it's in the past now. You don't really, you're kind of trying to move forward from it here. Especially in this night of this, maybe you're moving forward from it in a practical way, the way that makes sense, because maybe there's no pleasure here anymore. Maybe it's a lot of this frustration, competition, right? You guys are like done because it's the completion card. So it's like you guys are complete with the harmony. Like there's no there's no more harmony anymore maybe within this relationship. So you're kind of moving forward in a practical manner right now. If you may be a little frustrated here. We did see the three of hearts. It could be uh, a heartbreak here, an emotional separation from a connection, um, separation from a relationship, right? This could have something to do with a car, a vehicle, a way of transportation here. Maybe you guys are long distance right because of this you're getting a lot of outside talk maybe from this person you're getting a lot of um miscommunication for uh mis uh, miscommunication re uh, regarding your emotions here capricorn right so like you guys can't understand each other emotionally about how you feel about certain things this could be in connection with an aries that's in your environment that deals with who you communicate with this is, could be an aries person aries significant in their chart that have you know, relationship in some way, shape, or form, or a fire sign, right? Could be a lot of talk from this person, maybe a lot of back and forth, maybe not understanding each other mentally, understanding your ways of thinking and, and ways of practicalizing and, and bringing ideas to the world and communicating your ideas and things of that nature, communicating your thoughts. Maybe it doesn't equal up nicely, so you feel a lot of stress there, a lot of conflict there. It feels like it may be diminishing your status. Diminishing your way of getting stable, the stability. Maybe there's something, maybe this relationship is causing a blockage within your money. So maybe you're spending too much on, on this relationship here. Investing too much. But then it doesn't make sense to. So there could be separation from this thing as well. With this source energy. Um, but it is telling me to be unique. You know, there is a relationship out there. If this is a relationship for some of you guys, like I always say, it's not just a relationship, it's not just a business and career, it's a life reading. So apply it where necessary. If there's a relationship for you guys that is not suited for you, understand that you're a unique person. You gotta find someone that can see things like you, um, at least in, in some way, shape or form, right? Where you can be flexible. You gotta understand that it's important to communicate how you feel. Without emotional um, intelligence, you will not be able to sustain a relationship. Um, especially to the men out there that I'm talking to and your female. I'm not the one to speak on relationships, but listen, your female's gonna like emotional communication. She's a girl, she's a woman, right? It's what women like, it's what women like to see, emotional intelligence. 
being able to communicate yourself emotionally, understanding your own emotions, being able to understand theirs. Because when you do that, you're able to understand theirs. You're able to understand where they're coming from. I don't think you guys can understand where you're coming from here. So it could be a lot of frustration, a lot of conflict, right? So each party or a party can lack emotional intelligence here. You know, I'm not trying to trigger you anything. I'm just saying. Um, that's very important. And I'm just speaking if this is a relationship because we got the lover's card here. Do you see the Ace of Swords? There may be separation needed based upon you realizing that you're a unique individual, that this relationship may not be in your favor, um, may not be authentic. This relationship may lack authenticity here. Maybe it's uh, tra very traditional. Maybe it's uh, there's no substance uh, in this relationship here. And then you gotta you got to realize that, Capricorn, this is why you may need to separate from it. This is why you may feel a little bit emotional, uh, a little, little, a little um, overthinking towards your emotions, Capricorn. The outcome card is the Ace of Swords, so I do feel like you will be separating from this or moving forward with an idea, way of thinking. I think I mentioned some business scenarios for you guys, so I think you guys can understand this in a business way as well if there is no longer harmony within your career so you're now moving forward and shaping a new sense of status right um and this could be based all based upon a relationship or based upon what you love appreciate and value in your life um there could need to be a reshape in values if you're moving forward and you're not seeing any prosperity come from it or any new status shift i think there for some of you guys needs to be a reshape in values here You know, what do you really value in life that'll actually, that's actually motivating you to move forward here? Big question. That may be stopping you from moving forward as well if it's not a physical vehicle or a car or anything like that. Way of transportation, etc. You not knowing what your values are is blocking you from moving forward with this chariot here. That's why you're not seeing success because you don't understand and you don't know what you value. You don't know what your values are. Therefore, how are you going to know what you want to move towards? How are you going to know what's going to stabilitate you? How are you going to know what relationships for you? Gotta ask yourself these questions, guys. But I hope that brought you clarity, Capricorn. I try to ran through a few circumstances for you. If you guys want an extensive on this, don't hesitate to hit the description and the link below. First link below, you'll be able to book with me and learn a little bit about this situation. If you're looking for an extensive reading on this current situation here, Capricorn. Don't hesitate to hit me up. 50% off holiday season until January 5th. Make sure you guys tap in. You could book ahead of time as well. So do not be worried. So as we close out here, Capricorn, I want to thank you. I want to let you know that you are the most important part of this channel. I appreciate you for being here. I appreciate you for staying with me. I appreciate you for listening. Follow back up with me on Saturday. Check out your 2024 prediction readings in the link above as well. Um, or at the end of the video, we do have a playlist called 2024 Predictions where you can see 2024 in a broad perspective for yourself, Capricorn. So I hope you're doing well. Happy holidays to you. And we will be in touch soon. As always, Capricorn, I'm watching from afar and I'm rooting for you. I think you know what to do here. I hope this brought you clarity. Comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling. I appreciate you. Namo Himalaya, MC333. We out of here. Keep it going. Blow my hand. You know I'm stay flowing. Keep it going because you know I flow to the top down. And you know it's MC Slay with the post. Yeah, shitty past man, gotta forget about that. And we all have a story, so I'm never looking back. Now I remember coming through my first hand, nigga, bang. Little baby, you was there too. Do you remember that? You made me flow into the top. Even though I know it's hard and lonely, but you know I never stop. You know it's back in the day, me and JJ came to the street.